G'day guys, welcome to this video. If you're new around here, this series is all about my journey back to rugby. My registration fees are all paid off, so I'm officially a member of the Sunnybank Dragons Rugby Club. It's been a long time. Obviously this means I'm locked in to play for this club in the 2024 season. And by the way, ignore my shirt. It says Rugby League, but I've always played Rugby Union. But in case this is the first video in this series that you're watching, I thought I'd let you know that this will be my first season back to rugby in eight years. So here I am doing a quick hit session with our strength and conditioning coach before we go over to the field. Now once we went over to the field, we split into our forwards and backs. And then after a bit of warm up, us forwards started working on our scrums. Even though I've always been a loose forward, I'm currently learning and training at lock. So we did a bunch of scrums and the front row would rotate just so that they could each get enough time to practice. Scrum work is pretty tiring, especially for us type 5. But straight after scrums, we moved into this fitness drill. The way this worked is that we started on the ground on the try line. Then we ran to the 5 meter line, back to the try line, then out to the 22, and then back to the try line. Making sure to drop to the ground at every line. This was pretty tough because we had 30 seconds to do the whole thing. And after that we had 10 seconds rest before going again. So each rep was 30 seconds with 10 seconds rest in between. We had to do 6 reps and that was one set. For this session we ended up doing 2 sets. But I was thinking that if we ended up doing a 3rd set I was gonna die. I kinda enjoy it though. Gotta learn to love it. Especially because fitness right now is my number one priority. So once that was finished we had a little bit of a rest. And then moved into lineouts. There I am jumping trying to catch the ball but it was a bit too high so the best I could do was try and slap it back to our side. It was almost good but could definitely be better. If we can just retain the ball whenever we have a line out that would be really good a really important step for this season. We really got to practice 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 but we also got to remember a lot of us are really new and probably haven't played in a long time just like me. So we can't be too hard on ourselves, you know, we can't expect to play like the top team of the club. And it's important to remember just to have fun. Poor guy, that doesn't look too fun. This training session, we worked on malls. This is one of the things that makes it fun to be a forward, and is also something that sets us apart from rugby league. After all that, we came together to do our team run. As usual, this is where we put together everything we've practiced in the training session. And right now, we are working off of set piece, that being the line out. Here's a bit of close up action. Enjoy. After we had our run around, it was time to finish training, which means it's also time for our post-training tradition. A few weeks ago, I set out to do one drop goal, or maybe a few if I feel like it, after every training session until I get one over. One Nothing serious, I mean, this isn't even my job anyway. But if you saw my first attempt, you would see just how far I've come. Okay, now here is the post-training tradition from the Thursday's training session. Unfortunately, I didn't capture any footage from Thursday's training because my battery was gonna die. Feels like I'm getting worse, man, but I also flared up my groin on that one. That's not good, but at least we have five days rest before we go on to the next training session. I know this video was short, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys next time.